Hi guys, greetings from Hawaii, from a huge cave. Isn't it amazing? It's like <laughs> the water's dropping from the roof. I'm getting wet. It's amazing, beautiful. I'm Aurena Gatifola. I'm a psychic. I'm a healer. I'm talking from Big Island. And from the dark, walking into the light, that's what I'm talking about today. It's about... Um, hi. I'm talking about cancer and I want to talk about the reasons why people have cancer. Yes, you can say, oh, uh, it's in the genes. Yeah, kind of, but even the genes you can reprogram. And yeah, maybe there are some toxins and stuff, but everything is poison if you take it too much, right? So the background of having cancer is actually fear, not wanting to be alive. Yes, you could say it, but I want to live. Yeah, but in deep in your heart, if you're honest with yourself, it's like maybe sometimes you would say, hey, what do I do on this planet? It's like, I'm not happy. I'm not full of life. Something is missing. And it's also trauma. Trauma in your childhood or trauma in your ancestral lineage from the war or your grandparents had some trauma. If you, for example, have uh, breast cancer and you're being a woman and your mom had it and your grandmom had it the breast is motherhood it's being a woman it's feeding it's giving and also receiving the baby's receiving sorry <laughs> it's dropping here and the meaning is wherever you have cancer there is a meaning and emotions connected to it so if you have breast cancer you should look into are you in alignment with yourself being a woman being a goddess do you like your body or do you hate your body? Do you reject your body? If you have a thyroid cancer, that means it's the fifth chakra. It's the color blue. It's being in your power. It's being psychic. It's the connection between your heart and your mind. So everything has a meaning. And when you have cancer, it's a deformation of the cells. So that means you have to reprogram it. And then you can work with a healer who, who can help you to bring the soul and ground yourself into the body, which is very important to be alive, to be happy. And maybe you can do a family constellation, but make sure you work with someone who can see and read the energies. Most important is keep your body alkaline. You can do a detox with spirulina, do an Ayurveda treatment, but go to good people, to go to the right people. Not just because it's expensive, it's just, it means it's good. I had clients and they recovered from having cancer. And most important is avoid white sugar, avoid dairy products, because that produces lots of acid in your system. So please make sure you have veggies, fresh food, herbs, and everything which is alive. Go into nature, make a list, and do things which make you happy. If you need any help, let me know. I'm glad to assist you and help you. I'm Arena Gatifola, and I talk to you soon. Greetings from Hawaii. Bye. It's all about life and happiness. Connect with nature and be one.